Okay, we got a new event. Uh, audition for the Frog Cryer. The Frog Cryer is recruiting new members. Audition with Tulips, Toad, Dennis, and she will reward you with a Toad keep keepsake. Call me old fashioned, but I love Celestina Wolbeck. Uh, Dennis hasn't been catching flies with as much enthusi enthusiasm lately. I read a crib little article about a witch who didn't know she was a werewolf. Is that possible? Should I be concerned? Settle down, students. I have some exciting news to share. The Frog Cryer Hogwarts esteemed student singing ensemble is in need of two additional members. We will be holding auditions shortly. I encourage anyone who's interested to but come and prepare put and but to come prepared to sing. Fluency in Latin is not required but it is considered a plus. I always admired the Frog Cryer. The performances are always my favorite part of the welcoming feast. Does that mean you are planning to tr on trying out? Of course not. I'd probably faint the second I got up on stage. But you, on the other hand, would be great. You should consider auditioning. Uh, it does sound fun, but I think I should learn more about uh what being on the Frog Cryer entails before I decide. Then let's ask around about it. I'm curious to see who's playing and to audition anyway. Let's uh, speed one this. Why is it doing? Why is it being like this? Why does it take so long? For, there you go. Well, do you think you'll audition for the Frog Fire? All the members I spoke to really seem to enjoy it. I'm definitely considering trying out. Then I better ask Professor Spoots if I can borrow a pair of earmuffs. Don't tell me you're auditioning too. Not that it's any of your business, but unlike Dane, I have always wanted to be a member of the Frog Cryer. Why are you interested in the Frog Cryer anyway? The prestige. There's a lot of fame that comes along with being on the Frog Cryer. It'd be great to be a part of such an elite group. He's looking for another way to get attention that I believe... I mean that because when Professor Flitwick hears my addition, he may sad one new sinner is enough. As much as I hate to admit it, Mueller's got a point I've heard. Who sin? She's good. She's like a siren, complete, complete with all of the danger. If you are interested in auditioning it for the far career, I'd stop preparing. All right, it's always Mueller for the quest, eh? She's always involved. T talk to Tulip. Uh, I wouldn't ha hold a toad for all the butter beer in the world. Why? The frog cry. Sounds great, but they could use some stylish costume in it. I think you would make a fine addition to the Frog Cryer. Tulip, is everything alright? You said it was urgent. I'm happy you came. It's about Dennis. You're told, is he alright? Does it have something to do with why his dung bomb is gone? Dennis' is dung bomb? Or I take it off whenever we are around professors to avoid alerting or upsetting them. Not, no, the reason I had you come is because Dennis is depressed. Your toad is depressed? How can you tell? I can speak toad. No, of course not, but Dennis is my best friend. I can tell when he's got something on his mind, which is why I was hoping I could convince you to audition with him for the Frog Cryer. 
What? Don't worry, I'll explain everything. So you think Dennis's dream is to join and sin on the flag cryo? That's why I haven't seen him. So excited about something since we went swimming together in the Black Lake. But Dennis is your told one you rather audition with him? Of course, but I'm a wretched sinner. If I tried out with him, his dream would never come true. He can't be that bad. A group of girls started a formal petition to ban me from sinning in the showers. My sinning makes peeves cover his ears. I've made more false ears faint than baby mandrakes ever have. Oh wait, I get it, you're a bad sinner, but how do you know I'll be any better? You can't possibly be worse than me, plus I'm an excellent snoop. You probably didn't know this, but I have already heard you sin before. How to stick your nose in others' business may be the only lesson my ministry of magic parents taught me that stuck. My own toad never struck me as the sinning type anyway. Your audition for the fog cry with Dennis says your partner without me, blackmailing you or bribing you, why? Uh, if I do this for you, you owe me one in return, and that may come in handy sometime. That's very shrewd of you, you're always full of surprises. Still, I can't send you into the audition unprepared and expect it to end well. We better get you ready first. Let's start off by talking to Professor Flitwick. I doubt he'll accept the bribe, but he can at least tell us more about what you need to be a Fog Cryer member. <laughs> bribe him, bribe him. Why, if it isn't Mr. Dane, have you come to volunteer to tutor Wingardium Leviosa to the force use? Actually, Professor Flitwick, I'm interested in trying out for the Fog Cryo, and I was hoping that I could give you some idea of what I'm looking for in a Cryo member. Take it, we are not the first people to ask about the auditions. No, but as I told the others, I would be happy to offer my advice. Although I had intended to use this time between classes to tidy up the Charms classroom, then why don't we help? Uh, we'll get it done quickly if we work together we, and we can talk about the fog cryo afterward. I fashion myself more of a mess maker than a mess fixer, but I'll do my best. Dennis says he'll lend you webbed hand too. That, that would be a big help. Are you sure we can't help you clean up more, Professor? That's kind of you to offer, but you, you two done plenty now. What would you like to ask me about the fog cryo? What makes a good addition? A will a well trained toad help? I want to give my best performance show in the auditions. What should I do to improve my sinning? Well, as the fog cryo conductor, I can probably answer that question for you. The most important device I can offer right now is to practice and try to learn from those with more experience. Natural talent can only get you so far. The rest depends on your effort. Thanks, Professor. When I'm practicing, I'll be sure to get the advice of someone more experienced. I wish I could talk about the fog cryo all day, but fortunately, I, ne I do need to prepare for class. So I'd suggest you direct any other questions to Madam Pence. Uh, she's always been a fan of the fog cry, but she hates when we breathe too loudly, let alone talking. She takes her job seriously, but she does have her hobbies. I will need to hear you soon, but I think you would make a fine addition to the fog cry. I hope to see you at the auditions. Ooh. Thank you. Get Madame Pince's advice. I can recommend some great books on vocal exercises if you're interested. Uh, I have read Dragon Breeding for Pleasure and Profit seven times already, but it never gets old.
Uh, I don't want man of pins to chase me out of the library with, with a feather fe duster again. Man of pins, we have shh, but we are only trying to shh. Can we just? How many times must I shush you before you get the hint? Uh, we just have a few questions about the frog guy we would like to ask. You say very well. I suppose I'll hear you out, but make sure it's quick and quiet. Let's speed one this. Boom, 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 boom. So, Felis, is, Felis referred you to me. So we were looking for advice on how to prepare for the Far Cry auditions, and we suggested we talk to you. If it's for the betterment of the Far Cry, I'll permit taking you... Uh, talking to you, uh, even hearing that for saying, I still find it hard to believe I do have a life outside of my job in the library. I appreciate your bending up your normal talking rules to help me get on the frog cryo. I will help you, help you realize you have no place on the frog cryo. I agree with you, I don't belong on the frog cryo. Thanks for helping me realize that. You're welcome, I'm glad to see you aren't entirely unreasonable. Uh, now that your sarcasm stone her off for God, we can skip her whole lecture and get out of here. Uh, Dennis gave me an idea of how we can start preparing you two for the audition. Oh, that was a waste. What the hell? <laughs> Part two, to get you and Dennis in sync, Tulip suggests you try to bond with the toad. Bond with the toad, bond with the toad, bond, bond, bond with the toad. So the first thing I should do to prepare for the Far Cry auditions is to send it to the tra training gowns. No, you aren't ready to send yet. First, you need to make friends with Dennis. He, he won't send his best if he doesn't fully trust his partner, which could hurt your audition's performance. That makes some sense, but aren't we already friends? You and I are friends, but Dennis is picky about who he associates with. He got to know you while you dis disarmed the dung bond on his back, but you're still more acquaintances than friends. So how do I make friends with Dennis? Just like you ha you would make fr any friends by taking the time to get to know them, eat together, play together, that sort of thing. We you have lo lo lots of friends, this should be easy for you. But all of those friends preferred sandwiches and butterbeers to flies. Sounds like you need some more interesting friends. I brought you here to one of one of Dennis's favorite places to help him win him over. But the rest is up to you. Don't worry, I'm sure Dennis and I will become fast friends. Did it work, Tulip? Does Dennis trust me now? You are definitely getting there, but Dennis is still a little weary. Why don't you try something else? Fuck, I wish I had that. Uh, I bet Dennis would like it if I gave him a treat. Let's go to Honey Dukes after we are done. What about now? Are Dennis and I friends yet? He's definitely a fan of yours, but I think you two could still be close, so why don't we try one more thing? The one, the only question is, what should we do? Let's ask Hagrid. He's always make, making friends with animals. He should be able to give us some ideas. Consult with Hagrid. Some people think toads are ghosts. So I think those people are ghosts. Fair enough. Uh, that toad's a better sinner than you. I'd be happy to transfigure you into a toad. That that's about the only way you'll be you'll get on the frog cryo. Hagrid, thanks for coming. No problem. I always love talking to you. Plus, fans been bugging to see you. 
It's the is that the toad you mentioned? Uh, woof. <laughs> Yes, this is Dennis. We are auditioning for the Fog Cryo together, but I'm having trouble getting him to like me. Tulip and I were hoping you could give us some advice on how to win Dennis over. I'd be happy to help, but why come to me? You just look at Fan. He loves you. If you can get that, if you can help de get Dennis to like me half as much as Fan likes you, we'll do great in the audition. I reckon Fane and I are pretty close. Now let's see what I can do for you, you and Dennis. Uh, so you think I should do something with Dennis that he really enjoys? I that seemed to help me get Fane to trust me when I first got him. So Dennis associates the positive activity. Uh, that makes a lot, a lot of sense, but what does Dennis really love doing? I fed him a treat, but he, even that wasn't enough. There's only one thing I can think of that Dennis loves enough to win him over in, in time for the auditions. Hopping? Woof? No, playing a trick on someone, and I know the perfect target. <laughs> playing a trick on someone? Plot mischief. Uh, so you really think Dennis will like me if I trick someone? Dennis is my toad, after all, we're always making mischief together. If he sees you causing a little chaos, I'm sure his opinion of you will go way up. Agrees. This you has been pretty stressful, I could use a little fun. Does seem into the idea, oh wait, I'm in, you mentioned earlier that you had something in mind. Not so much of something as, as someone, a target. No, that's too obvious. I'm talking about Madame Pence. She certainly deserves it after she was rude to you earlier. Can't argue with that. She didn't even let me sin before insulting me. That pro The problem is, what should we do? You're the master of mischief, Tulip. After a little brainstorming, I know you'll come up with something great. I've got, got it, what's the one thing Pence hates more than anything else? Loud coughing, study groups, talks. Close but no, what Pence hates more than anything else is when students mis mistreat books. If we mess with them, she'll go spare. What do you think? Your idea is brilliant, it's effective, but it won't cause any real damage that could get us in trouble. Normally I'd go with something more inventive and risky, but we are... Pinched, pinched for time. Plus, the last thing we need is for you to get caught and have a professor forbid you from auditioning. Let's do it. Great. I'll final, finalize our plans and meet you in the library. Finalize the plans. Uh, I like reading books with while upside down. It's like I can feel the info washing into my head. I study at the library just so I can annoy Pence with my loud page toning. I heard Pence once uh, banged the student from the library for folding down the page corners of the books. Alright, Darkos, uh, let's go over the plane. I'll distract Pence while you go through the shelves, putting books out of order and scattering them about. You should also find a place to hide where, where you can see and trick Pence. I'll give you a sign when Pence is coming, that's when I'll unleash chaos. Is how to distract Pence. Why don't you let Pence catch you reading notes in your library book? Time, I'm trying to buy you time, not get myself killed, but it's not a bad idea. And what fun is making mischief if you don't take a, f don't take a few tricks. That's risks uh there's a copy of advanced potion making over there just begging for some commentary let's f thanks for the suggestion now that we have got that finished we, we can get started i'll leave dennis with you so he can get a front view w front wall seats to the mischiefs go make me proud speed one
what's the what's the madden pince you're heading over to the shelves that's our cue dennis let's get into position What's this? What kind of monster would leave a book book on the ground? Ugh. Sees this foolishness immediately. In all my years, I've never seen such a travesty. Newton's commando in the hobology section, text textbooks shelved upside down, precise algebraical -el -el order destroyed. You have even made me raise my voice in the library. If I find you, I will personally ensure you are banned from the library for an eternity. She didn't even look around the corner. What the fuck? That's that was brilliant. Pence was so busy scolding me that she never even noticed you. She's going to be reorganizing the shelves in a fit for the rest of the day. I'm glad you liked it, Tilip. But what about Dennis? Well, I never thought I'd seriously be asking about the opinions of Toad. Is that yes? Better than yes? I don't think I've ever seen Dennis like a two-legged creature. This much sends Mueller. You forget Mueller and I were friends before I even met you. And here I thought Dennis was a good judge of character. There was more to Mueller than insults and pride. But that's not important now. What is important is Dennis is ready to be your told partner for the fog choir. Now, we just need to prepare you. Don't worry, Tulip. I know just the person who can help me study. Part 3 with Dennis. Your newfound play fan, you and Tulip turn to preparing yourself for the fog cryo. Study with Rowan. You should sing a song about dragons for your edition. I, I do... Just thinking about performing in front of that many people is enough to make me feel faint. Okay, I can't, uh, there we go. The fuck? Thanks for agreeing to help me prepare for the Fog Cryer auditions. I'm happy to help to practice, but why come to me? Maybe not, but you are good at teaching and helping meet people alone. Even if you don't know the subject very well, I could still use your support and guidance. I like the, to think of it as practice for when I become a professor one day. It doesn't hurt that you are a good student. All right, I'll do it. I'll help you study. I hope you are ready because I'm not going to stop until I have done everything I can to prepare you. Well, I have done about all I can. I hope that helped you get ready for the Fog Cryer auditions. Well, and thanks. Now I think it's about time I talked to someone who has experience in it on the Fog Cryer. Talk to Chester. I think I'll ask Felis. If the fog fire can come sing at Christmas carols at the end this year. If only people were as easy to win over as toads. Niffler, what Niffler? I'm definitely not smuggling a Niffler into Hogwarts under my robe. Thanks for coming, Chester. I know you must be busy. Uh, no problem. Uh, uh, I'll deny this if anyone asks, but I was honestly looking for an excuse to take a break. You said you wanted to ask me about the Fog Cryo. Tulip mentioned you were on the Fog Cryo, so I thought I'd ask you for advice on how to prepare for the audition. Practices were about the only time Chester didn't pester us to own house poems. I wouldn't be much of a Ravenclaw prefect if I refused to help someone with a desire to learn. Let's order around round Butterbee and I'll tell you about my experiences on the Fog Cryo.
So you have noticed that Noves are the biggest reason people go do pulley on the fog fire edition, that's right. I've seen students here practice for months, crumble in front of an audience come edition time. I'd recommend you try to get some practical experience before the audition. That's really good advice, Chester. I'll definitely keep it up in mind. And I know you'll do great. Do you have any other questions you'd like to ask me? Uh, picking a song for my edition that Flip uh, likes may help my chances. Do you know any? He always seemed to be to love you and the students in Celestia Wolbeck's You Charm the Heart Way Out of Me. Then I know what I'm going to sin for my edition. Thanks again for your help, Chester. I need to get back to practicing. And I know just the cokey banging who can help. Of course, good luck. Let me know how things turn out. Practice with the weird sisters. What? <laughs> Our favorite source of inspiration. Uh, remind me why I'm your favorite source of inspiration for the infamous walk band, the Weird Sisters. You, you are an infamous coast breaker. Whenever we need to think up new songs, we just imagine your adventures. Uh, risking it all to solve an ancient mystery. Fending off dark forces eager to kill you. Questioning your friends, loyalties are every tone and ag agnostic. Agonizing over what you'll do when the, your reason for living, finding your brother is over. Coast breaking adventures are so cool. Sounds like you have got a few fans. How do you feel about writing songs about you? Uh, I think it's awesome. After all, how often does a person get a song written about them? We are immortalizing you in the history of rock. I came here because I'm auditioning in for the Fog Fire and I was hoping you could help me practice. You're always putting on shows for Hoggards. If anyone can help me get comfortable performing, it's you. You're in luck. We were just about to start at our James session. Why don't you try sitting with us? That will give you, you a feel for performing. I like that Toad style. He can join us too. I don't usually the like sharing the make, but if you two, but for you two, I'll make an exception. God damn it! That was a cool performance, Darkos. It was so amazing. Kaylee's been rendered speechless. I knew you had it, didn't you? Thanks for letting me sin with the Weird Sisters. Did it help you get more comfortable with performing? Yes, but I wish I could have performed in front of a crowd. But our practices are strictly off limits to civilians. We used to let anyone come, but then Coley had to have that unfortunate incident with a fan. He doesn't talk, like to talk about it. I understand, but how am I going to get experience sitting in front of a crowd? I don't know a better crowd, but if you are looking for a way to test your nerve while sitting, I have an idea. Test your nerve. What are you do? What are we doing in the potions classroom? I thought you were going to test my nerve, and what better way to do that than having you perform for a ma ma for the master of mis misery himself, Snape. But he hates music and anything that brings joy and happiness. Snape is so cool. That that's what makes him the perfect audience. He's a tough c critic. If you can perform for him without losing your cool, you can perform for anyone. That does make sense. Snape already thinks you are odd. What have you got to lose? I'll try it. That's the spirit. Do you know what song you are going to use? Sin to Snape. Try to appeal to his specific tastes. I'm going to try to sin one of the Far Cry's classic in Not Noctum. A dark moody song for a dark moody man. It's not <laughs> uh, smart. Being uh, being dark and moody is so cool. We you are ready to sin for Snape, and you too, Dennis. Don't worry. If he kills your self confidence, we'll be sure to write a wicked uh, <laughs> epilogue. 
eulogy. Uh, I meant. <laughs> now go pierce Snape's cold heart with that burning passion of your song. To what do I owe the displeas- displa- pleasure? Here goes nothing. Are you finished? Uh, yes, what did you think? I think you should ha- leave my classroom and let me walk in peace. You hated my singing? I didn't say that. So you liked it? It was p- passable. The song was entertaining at least. So I can interest you in the Nanko. Uh, you did it. Uh, you sung to Snape without freezing up. Messing up your lyrics or whipping a hole in your trousers. What? It happens. Uh, Snape didn't even hate your performance. You are so cool. There's nothing more we can teach you. You are ready to audition for the Frog Choir. Part 4. You have practiced hard. Now it's time to show your efforts off at the Frog Choir auditions. But with Mueller as your competition, things won't be so easy. Addition for the Frog Choir. Uh, I wish beautiful music would come from my mouth instead of bad breath. Break a leg, Darko's not literally, of course. I would never want you to get hurt. You know what I mean. Uh, are you auditioning for the Frog Choir? I'm sure you'll do great. It's time for the Frog Choir audition. Are you ready? Yes, thanks to you and everyone else who helped me prepare. I should be thanking you because of you, Dennis's dream of sinning on the Frog Choir is going to come true. Hold on, Tulip, I haven't even auditioned yet. Flitwick may not even pick me. I don't know about you, but I don't often take the time to consider the impossible and consider impossible scenarios. I'm happy to see you're so confident. It will make the book the 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 look on your face when Flitwick picks me and not you so much sweeter. There are two spots open, Mueller. You and Darkos can both be on the Frog Choir. Flitwick is even remotely capable of recognizing talent. He'll see Dane doesn't deserve to be on the choir. But don't worry, Tulip. I'll sing with Dennis when Dane inevitably fails his audition. Thanks, Mueller, but I'll stick with Darkos Dane. You don't have to pick right away. Wait until Flitwick makes his decision to decide. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an audition to crush. You better go too, good luck. But no pressure or anything. Ah yes, Mr. Lane, you're on, way on time. What will you be singing for us? We are going to sing Double Trouble, uh, a Frog Choir classic. You and your toad may begin singing at any time. Excellent, Mr. Dane. It was a smart choice to demonstrate you know our material by singing one of our songs. In fact, all of you are quite talented and put on impressive performances. That's what what makes this news so hard to deliver. What news? One of our current members who had planned on retiring and giving up her spot has decided to stay on instead. Fortunately, that means I can only accept one new student on the Frog Choir. That said, I will carefully consider every audition and announce my decision shortly. Shit. <laughs> you may as well give up. That spot on the fog cry is mine. Why don't you do yourself a favor and withdraw? You'll s- you will you will save yourself the embarrassment of losing. Not giving up. Uh, We'll see about that. Uh, I guess Flitwick's announcement didn't shake Mueller's confidence. You think? Uh, that This might be because I know Mueller, but I think she's she looks worried. She must really th- see you as a threat. Meet Mueller. Oh, for do 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 duel, do 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 duel, do 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 duel. What do you want, Mueller? For you to tell Flitwick you have changed your mind and don't want to join the Far Cry after all. Why would I do that? Because you are going to realize that compared to me, you don't really deserve to sin with them. That's not going to happen. I assume you would say that, which is why I'm prepared to use forces to make it happen. What? 
If I beat you in a duel, you will tell Flitwick you are withdrawn from the Far Cry. Uh, and if I win, you won't. If I win, you'll leave me alone and respect Flitwick's decision, whatever that may be. Fine, but I won't, wouldn't count on that happening. I don't plan to lose. Bring it on, then. Boom. Oh, both sneaky. Oh, both aggressive. Oh, aggressive against sneaky. Oh, I'm boning. Am I? I'm boning. Shit. Flipendo, though. I'll flipendo you. Flipendo. Boom. Holy shit. That's her whole health basically gone. Aggressive. Ah, uh, the duel's decided. Expelliarmus. It's not fair. You don't deserve it. I tried so hard. Why are you so obsessed with getting onto the Far Cry? You never mentioned an interest in sending before Flitwick announced the Far Cry auditions. Though, to be fair to you, you don't mention much about yourself, period. Now that it's any, not that it's any of your business, but my mom used to be on the fog car back when she was at Hogwarts. She loved to sin. She used to sin to me and to sleep every night when I was a kid. At least she did until she got herself arrested. We used to sin together in preparation for the day I'd get selected to sin on the fog car. Are you afraid you won't get to sin on the fog car like your mom? Not that Flitwick won't pick me, but I hate the thought of the spot going to someone else after I have practiced for years. Good luck, Mueller. I really mean that. I'd wish you the same, but not even all the liquid luck in the world will, could help uh, you beat me. I'll see you at the results announcements. Here are the results. Ah, oh, who the hell do you think will get it? I don't know. I don't think I'll get it. Uh, I don't need to hear you sin to know Mila is better than you. I'm nervous for you. It feels like half the school is here too. If that's half the school, then the school is so small. What the hell? I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was too anxious to hear the results of the fog car auditions, even though you're not the one who auditioned. Do you know how stressful it is to wait when you are the emotion this emo emotionally invested? Thank you. Thankfully, neither of us have to wait much longer. After about that, I'm not saying you are going to lose because, as far as I'm concerned, you had the best audition. But if Mueller does win, do you mind if I take her up on the offer to sing with Dennis? It's not that I don't care if you make it or not. Oh, it's just that I'll never hear the end of it from Dennis. I don't mind. I know you're just trying to do what's best for Dennis. That's one of the things I really like about you. Anyway, that's enough sentimental stuff. The suspense is going to drive me mad. Me too. Let's go ask around until Flitwick arrives. Look, here comes Flitwick. Before I make the announcement, I'd like to thank everyone who took the time to the, to audition. It's never easy to make these decisions, but it was practically difficult, particularly difficult this year. With that said, I hope you'll give a big congratulations to Mr. Dan, our new Frog Cry member. Me? No, congrats, Starkos. You deserved it after how hard you worked. You too, Dennis. Miss Karsu's wait, Mr. Dan, you too. Put on an excellent performance and should be proud. Uh, how do you feel about being selected as the f new Far Cry member? Should have the spoil instead. Uh, instead, she's practiced really hard and being able to sin on the cry means so much to her. That's very noble of you, but are you sure? I only have one spot to fill, and there will be no taking back your choice. I'm sure Mila deserves to be on the fog car. Are you sure you are feeling well? No fever making you delirious? I'm going to give my you my spot on one condition. You have to keep your promise to make Dennis your toad partner, otherwise I'll keep the spot for myself. 
It's very kind to do this for you, Miss Nine. I hope you you promise to listen to you his wishes. It's not often a student gives up an honor like this for someone else. I'm truly impressed by your selflessness. Even though you won't be on the stage with us, I still hope you, to see you at our upcoming performance. Huh. I just gave my spot up, eh? Attend the performance. What happened if I didn't click that? I bet you she'd still fucking... I'd still give it up. I don't know. I sing that every day, every now and then, but only to trees. Trees don't judge. I watch frog cryo shows for all the cute toads. Why I feel it starts you were the best fit for the frog cryo, I never know. I wanted to wish you good luck on your first performance. I'm sure you'll make your mom proud. I'm sure I will when I tell her how I manipulate you into giving up your spot on the frog cryo. I still can't believe you fell for my sob story. So you made that stuff up about your mom to guilt me into dropping out. You like to pretend you are some tough coast breaker, but in the end you are as naive as they come. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a performance to give. I hope it m moves you as much as my last one. I hold what happened on your it. I can't. Uh, I I just don't give a shit. Actually, uh, puh, I should should have known it was all fake. She definitely manipulated you, but I'm sh not so sure she actually lied. What are you talking about, Tulip? She said so herself, or did she tell you it was a lie so you wouldn't think she's vulnerable? Quiet down now, students. It's an honor to introduce the newest member of our Farkai, Miss Mulus Nine. Now, without further ado, I give you this for I give you baby baby baby. Hey, towels. That was nice. That was it. Was a nice thing you did for Mula. We may not be close anymore, but I'm glad to see her happy. Didn't stand torn out how we expected, but I wanted to thank you for everything you did for Dennis and me. Even when you let Mula have your spot, you still made sure that Dennis would be able to live his dream. Dennis says thanks to you. I'm just glad I could help you and Dennis out. I still owe you that favor, but for now, I want you to have this. It's a pillow for your own toe to sit on, and a dung bond to strap to its back. The, the pillow is so so your toe can look fancy and can wiggle amphibian. It is uh, the dung bond. Well, I probably should warn you to use it wisely. What? Okay. Thanks, Tulip. My toad is now officially the most spoiled toad in the, all of Hogwarts. That was fun. Let me know if you want to make any of Dennis's other dreams come true. That was the event. Peace.